Hi everybody, this is Vitorials, my name is Alex and welcome to this unique collaboration between Adobe Illustrator and Adobe XD. This is our second part where we are going to import uh, our cubic grids that we created inside Adobe Illustrator. By the way, you can download it following the link in the description and uh, our Adobe inside Adobe XD and create this portal at this very nice web page for our corporate clients. If you have fun, you can apply this grid for them. So, and I want to start right here by deleting this grid because this is nothing special. I do not waste my time and your time creating these titles and this uh, piece of text. By the way, I grab this piece of text from Corporate Ipsum where you can easily generate one, two, three, and whatever you want, paragraphs of plain English text and insert inside all of uh, any kind of your project for free. So let's, let's go to our menu and import our grid. I have it here. Then I want to resize a little bit my grid and I want Adobe XD to calculate the distance between my grid and my uh, body copy I want that to be 48 and I want to resize it a little bit more and align it horizontally to the to the uh, center so we have our grid applied and I want to use my right mouse button key, key and ungroup my grid next step is to go to my image folder. I uh, grab all of my images from Unsplash and place it right here inside this grid. Uh, for doing that, I want to select first of my tail here, one of the side, and grab this young guy and just place it right here. Then I want to select this tile from here and uh, place this uh, old uh, man here and I also want this uh, woman to be on this tile so I want to select this tile and place this woman here so it's uh, always pretty aligned always very uh, nice sitting inside but I also want to make a copy of this uh, photo of this young guy and let me explain why I want to <clears throat> surround this guy with the content on this photo. So I want to create two masks here and here. And for doing this, I want to first of all make a duplicate of this photo. Then I want to uh, select one of my original file, Control Shift Left Bracket or Control uh, Command Shift Left Bracket in your Mac to move it back then i want to select this top roof this top tile and i want to move it i want to project the sky on it so i want to select this then holding shift select this and use my right mouse button key and mask the shape so uh, as you can see the shapes uh, this is creates this sky then i want to Move it like so. As always, I want to control shift left bracket to move it backward. I want to project a piece of uh, these green trees, this uh, field, and this sky to this tile. So it's a little bit more complex composition. And also, I want to use my right mouse button key and mask this shape. Shift control F. I can double click even. And I want to play with this actually. I want to resize and move it like so. So I'm pretty happy with this result. And last step that I can do here, if you double click on these images, this is not a mask. You can't easily arrange your image inside this uh, shape, but we can actually reshape it. And we are going to do that right now. You can simply double click on that and move it like so. 
but before you move your image be aware control shift right bracket to move it on top so it's now on top then double click again and i want to move it like so so it's kind of hexagon image you can stop whatever you want you can play with this image but i want to be very conservative with that because uh, this is a corporate site and we need to be a very conservative so i think it's okay i still wonder why it's not covered this piece it's okay we have this uh, kind of great if you like this tutorial please do not hesitate to thumb up subscribe share it with your friends i want to thank you for following to the end and have a nice day Thank you.